Yeah, what's good, people? So today I want to show you guys this new sample chopping app that I've been working with called Beat Cleaver from the boys over at Asalicious. It's a real quick and easy tool that lets you chop up all different kinds of audio samples like waves, mp3s. Right here I got a full M4A song that I pulled off the internet. You see how easy it is to just drag and drop it right into the timeline. So I'm going to trim off the beginning of this and then go and grab my loop endpoint bar and bring it to the beginning of the song because I know I want to capture these first two bars of the intro. And then let's zoom in here. Right now I'm doing this with my Mac trackpad with two fingers, just scrolling up. It also works with your scroll wheel, and it's super clean and easy. So let's just tighten up this loop real quick and give it a sample play. And that sounds like what I want. So if I click up here in the timeline bar, I can set it to loop, and then click it one more time to play. And now we can come in here and clean up our cut points so we get a nice clean loop. We can zoom in all the way down to can get right on a zero point to cut it clean. Find the exact position I want it. Let's get it right down to that clean point. And now we got a nice solid loop. We'll come back out. And if I right click on the loop here, I want to save out my slice. I just make a new folder to put it where I want it. And normally I would go through the whole song and slice out all the sections that I want, put them in a folder, and then go through and make extra slices on all those different loops. But right now I'm just going to call this main loop 1, put it in the folder, and you can see how quick it got there while the sample's still playing and looping. Now let's say I wanted to just divide this thing up into 8 pads so I can have every quarter note play on my sampler. I just click that, slice into 8, and boom, it's done. Now this is probably good enough, but I like to go in and tweak to make sure I got no pops or cracks or anything like that. So if I click up here on top of this one loop slice in the timeline, I can loop it. And now we can go in and fine tune all these cuts on every single sample. But you know that's going to get annoying really quick, so let's speed through this part and you won't have to listen to it. Okay, so it's only about three minutes later and I got nice, good, clean slices on all the samples just the way I want them to sound. So let's pull back out of here and you see up top where it has this quick export button. All I have to do is hit that once, and it automatically throws all those files into my folder. Now it's going to go into the same folder as the original sample is located in. So let me hold shift and highlight all those. Those are my eight chops that I just made, and we're going to put them in that same sample folder with the main loop one. And then let's put them in their own subfolder. And... Let's call that loop one chops. All right, and it was just that easy. So, you know, that's a little bit of a detailed method. That's how I would normally work. But let's go through and we'll see if I was really in a rush how fast I can do this. So we got another blank session. I'm going to drag and drop the same file that I used before. And we'll get the timer going. On my second sample, let's loop that and adjust the cut points so we can get a nice clean loop. Let's 
See, even all this nice intricate cutting is, is super quick, super clean, super easy. And just like that, I got my loop where I want it to be. Now let's come up here, slice it into eight pieces. They look perfect, a quick export, and I'm done. They're thrown into the same folder as my original sample was in. And I'm done in less than a minute while the sample's still looping. Now let's take this into Reason and I'll show you how to set it up into some MPC style samplers and make a beat out of this. If you guys haven't seen the tutorial I did on how to build an MPC sampler inside of Reason, check over here. But basically this is just a Kong drum designer with four nano samplers on pad 1, 5, 9, and 13. If we open up our pad assignment, we see 1 through 4 set to trigger sampler 1, 5 through 9, sampler 2, 9 through 12, sampler 3, 13 through 16, sampler 4. And the sampler hit types 1 through 4 go across each one of the rows. So you see this 1, 2, 3, 4 is 1, 2, 3, 4 across your pads. And now the last trick is to set all the pads to the same mute group, in this case group A. Now if we come over here to sampler 1, on the first hit type, let's navigate to the sample folder we just created, loops 1, chop, and add chop number 1 onto hit type number 1. And now number 2 onto type number 2, 3 onto number 3, and 4 onto number 4. So let's add a compressor to that to give it a little bit more volume. Select our MIDI channel in the timeline so I can control it with my keyboard. And you see we have the loop set up across the four pads. Now let's come up to sampler 2 and do the same thing. 5, 6, 7, and 8. And now we have the loop set up across all eight pads. Now the second loop I chopped up I want to play at the same time as that one and layer it without the mute group affecting each other. So I'm going to create a second drum machine the same as the first. On the first sample I'm going to come into loops 2 and put the first sample on the first pad and go through the same process as we did before. 2 3 and four, and then go up to sampler number two, five, six, seven, and eight. And now we got this sample set up across these eight pads. So about 20 minutes later, I had some time to fool around with this, and I want you guys to hear what I came up with. So all in all the beat cleaver is like super fast and really easy to use, really effective. You know, for someone like me who likes to get way in there and cut right on the zero for the cleanest loops, it does everything I need. For somebody like maybe in a DJ or live performance situation who's just got to chop up a sample real quick, throw it in the machine and start playing, it's got what it needs to do for that. So you know, for an affordable app, it's super powerful and really, really useful. I'll definitely be using it in the future. I mean, I had a couple little troubles figuring out how to use it in the very beginning, 
but I sent an email to the support contact and they got right back to me, told me what I was doing wrong, and even added a couple features that I wanted to see on there for me. So you know they were really quick and responsive with things that had to be fixed and they're releasing updates all the time. I know these guys got their hearts in it and they know what they're doing. They used to develop some of the hardware for the machine and now they're working on their own. So check them out, ocelicious.com. Download the free trial and then buy the license once you see how cool it is, man. Peace.